Welcome, you are tuned in for the first ever episode of Pet P and the Pre-Drops. In this show we'll be hearing new tracks from different artists, and there is only one requirement, have an odd pre-drop vocal, and as different artists, I mean artists in air quotes, they are just made up artist names from random generators made by Midji, but I believe we can pretend that this is a genuine show. As you might have guessed, I'm Pet P, and I'll be your guide today. You may recognize my angel-like voice from Midgey's podcast Junkie, and now I'm blessed to be hosting my own show. Thank you Midgey for this opportunity. My co-host from podcast Junkie, Aki, is also here behind the camera, doing some production work. Hello. Shut up Aki, this is my moment, gosh. Sorry. Anyway, let's get down to business. Our first track is called Tesno, and it is by the duo Unicorn Slayers United, aka USU. Let's see how these two are going to slay Arya Canals today.
Here are the first ever guests of Pepe and the pre-drops, Linnea and Simha from the Unicorn Slayers United. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. The track says, you're not gonna feel a thing, but I have to admit that the bass made me feel a compulsive need to dance. Oh, thank you Pat P. You're so kind. Samiha wanted to have that there, because the track gave her a bliss feeling before being beamed to another galaxy. Is that so? Yes. So you are an alien? Yes. Well we are up to a good start. I wonder where this show takes us. Sorry, Samiha. Always in the character. I too say that I'm from another planet. We all are, aren't we Pat P? Well I'm just from Finland. Nice that you played along. Have you had any luck slaying unicorns lately? Daily. I bet that you haven't seen any of those nuisances. Well you're correct there, thank you for your service. How long have you two been making music together? For about a year now. Linnea was the first human I saw when I came here, and I just asked if they wanted to collaborate. I had never even thought about making music before, but Samiha was also a newbie, so we started trying and here we are. Wow, that is quite the journey. What about the track name Tesno? What does that mean? Well, Tesno is our way of saying techno. Oh, okay. Do you have anything you want to say to the audience? Greetings to all humans. Unicorns, watch out. Next we have Morris with a track called Knockout. Let's not wait any longer. Thank <laughs> you. 
Welcome Morris. Tell me, why does the track call you a monster? A big room track with fake build-ups and drop that hits at two minutes. Wouldn't you think that's a thing only a monster would do? Well, that was truly something different. And the last pre-drop vocal is because the drop stopped. Okay, I see. The drop should have just continued to infinity. And onward. What? What? So you are a captain, and judging by your outfit, you are a captain of a ship. I'm a captain, yes. But I don't have a ship. Well, not even captain to be clear. I have the clothes to be a captain. I'm sorry, but are you saying that you were just wearing a costume? You got to dream happy. I want to be a captain. And one day I will be. I'm sure of that. I'll pilot the biggest ship you have ever seen. Then I'll say it to everybody on board. Check it out. I'm in charge here. Or you could say look at me, I'm the captain now. What? What? Well, it's nice to see someone with that much passion. What do you dream, Peppy? What do I dream? Yes. Hum, I want to. I want. I. I. <coughs> The next guest is almost three times my age, but that doesn't slow Peppermint Ivory down at all. Let's hear what a track called Good Morning sounds like.
Peppermint Ivory. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much. It's nice to see that the age is just a number, even for electronic music. I had to find something better to do with my retirement, so I said screw social media and welcome music. Nice. I really hope that I'll be as cool as you when I get older. Oh, stop embarrassing me. What was the inspiration behind that, oh, how it burns shout? The inspiration comes from the feeling I'm having every morning when every part of my body hurts and all I can do is scream, and that is the shout I make. Well not that shout particularly, but something like that. That shout, it's my own voice. But that sounds nothing like- Are you questioning me? But I'm certain that the voice on the track isn't you. It is. It is not. 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 So how long have you been making music Ivory? It has been so long that I don't even remember anymore. Do you have any tips for beginner musicians? Never give up. I've been doing this for years and look at me now having my track played in a really successful show. I wouldn't call this show a success yet, we are still in the pilot stage. What? Haven't you been doing this for years? No, this is my first time hosting a show. I thought this was Conan. Do I look like Conan? Not at all, but they promised me to be in a show where the host had red hair. Wait, were you the host they were talking about? I believe so. Ah, what a waste of time then. Thank you Peppermint Ivory. Sigh, do I really have to do this, Aki? Listen to this shit, I have to suffer. But the track was hella late, wasn't it? Well it really was. Okay Peppy, get it together, halfway there, then you have time to relax. Next up we have Wilbur McDonald, with the track called, Ham, are you ready? Well I am, and that's all that matters.
Wilba, hello and welcome. Thank you, it's good to be here. I'm Margo Ham with it, what does that mean? I'm giving my best, you know, go hard or go home. Go ham or go home. I can't relate as a vegetarian. Neither can I, Peppy. Neither can I. But odd pre-drop was the point of the show, right? You're correct there. It was a refreshing touch to add some side there, with the swing sound. Yeah, I know so. It really blows up the track. What was the inspiration for this track? I saw some black and white telephone commercial on the internet that had some swing music on it. The commercial that has same type of track and Midgey's swing. Never heard of that track. And who's Midgey? Um. Next guest is Dashing Purple One with a track called Lo-Fi Dreams. Let's all take a deep breath and relax. Well that really was something different. Did I catch you by surprise? You really did. I didn't see that coming. So tell me Dashing Purple One, what's the inspiration behind this one? I made this track as my training music. And it also seems that getting a successful lo-fi track is easier than selling water on the desert. But as a dubstep fan I decided to spice things up a bit. For anyone wondering what you are training, you are a contortionist. Tell me a bit about that. Well I'm a performer who performs extreme flexibility talents. How long have you been doing this? The skills you have are amazing. For 10 years. It won't make me save the world but that's what makes me happy. Well that is true. Do what makes you happy. How much do you train? I train around 30 hours per week. Wow. I can't twist my head around that. Please. I couldn't train that much weekly. I would split that number. Pep P. Stop. That bend you did there looked like fun. I want to try that also. You shouldn't. I have been training for years to being able to do this. I can handle it. Let's get rid of the corset. So, 
how is it? Like this. No, no, no. Ow! Oh, how it burns! At the end of the well, I guess I was wrong about peppermint ivory. That voice is really easy to make when needed. That was quite the impressive back bun, but promise me to never do that again. I promise. I believe it's time to move on, before I manage to wreck my whole body. The last guest of the day wanted to be a surprise guest. So without a further ado, here is Happy from Mr. Y. Open the curtains. Who is it? Is it Slush? Oh. It was just Niji. I was really hoping that we would have a real musician guest today. Happy, don't be such a bummer. Isn't it fun to see me? I'm a little bit disappointed. Well, don't cry over the spilled milk. Sigh. Okay. So the track was called Happy, and the pre-drop was Lang Blang Wa, Achu, Miji. I'm sorry, but what the fuck? Wasn't the intention to have an odd free drop local? Well, you're true about that, and this is basically your show, because you came up with the rules. Well, your show, but also my show because I'm the host, but, you know, by the way, why did you call yourself Mr. Y? Why not Mr. X? Because I have a track called Y. It was a hint. You also have a track called X. Is it still somewhere? Yep, still up on SoundCloud. Wow, I didn't even remember that. Oh well, the curtain has already been removed in front of Mr. Y, so it doesn't matter anymore. Ooh, I was really hoping for another guest. I feel that this is like Chuck Palahniuk adding himself in the Fight Club 2 comic, but maybe even worse. But you're comparing me to Chuck Palahniuk. I take that as a compliment. No, I'm not saying that. You are. But you just... Can't you tell that I'm you? And you're not you. You're him. I'm who? Him. 
the one who is typing everything we are saying on his computer. What the fuck? Are you saying that I'm just a product of the imagination? We all are, the whole production. This show doesn't exist. We are just pause in one man's imaginary world. I'm sorry to inform, but we are having some technical difficulties. Peppy and the pre-drops will return next week. Or month. Or year. Stay tuned.